Okay. You'd think I've done this more than once. Rafi's Rambles. Rafi's Rambles. Rafi's Rambles. <laughs> Hola, you amazing artist. Today, I wanted to have a quick heart to heart with you um, because I've gotten a lot of questions about doing tutorials and whether or not I'm planning on doing tutorials. There's a part of me that it pulls on my heartstrings because like, obviously, I want to be able to give you guys as much information as I possibly could. Um, but when it comes down to like doing tutorials, tutorials are something that are very, very popular on YouTube. And also I think tutorials are awesome because like for anybody that wants to learn a certain technique or how to use certain materials and stuff, these tutorials are great for that. The only problem is, and one of the reasons that most of what you see is talking heads in our videos is that um, filming and doing tutorials is very, very involved. First off, whenever I get started on a piece, um, I'm basically winging it from beginning to end. I have no idea what I'm going to do. There are artists out there that they can tell you what the, what the uh, colors are for skin tones. They can really walk you through the process. And they're amazing. They're amazing. YouTube University. Just just go there. There are a bunch of uh, videos that will show you what to do if you, if you want to learn how to paint a certain way. I don't know what I'm going to do. I don't know how I'm going to tweak it. Basically, when I work on art, it is a series of uh, risk-taking, experimentation, and tweaking, and fixing. I got to do something with each piece that is virtually taking a small risk and that way it gets really exciting and gets my heart pumping and then then at that point i'm like oh i could totally screw this up and if i screw it up it's like oh well how do i fix it and so like that's that's the uh, that's pretty much if i were to do a uh art tutorial it would be get started however it is that you feel like getting started uh go ahead and take some risk oh you screwed that up how are you gonna fix that uh oh, oh, you screwed up even more. Uh, this looks like crap. Okay, how are we going to save it? Where are we going to go? Okay, that's looking a little bit better. It, it'd basically be the creative prey. It would be a nightmare for anybody to watch that actually wanted to learn how to paint. And we're so busy in the studio with all the projects that we're working on and, you know, with our art career and running our business, doing YouTube is only a very small fragment of what it is that we do out there mostly we're focused on our career the whole reason that i started doing videos on youtube was because i wanted to put content and information out there um on how it is that I, we are approaching our our career and what it is that we're doing and the struggles that we've gone through and basically putting a little bit of ourselves out there and if it's able to help anyone in their own perspective or their own art career that's really what I wanted to uh, put out there. I'm not saying that tutorials are not uh, amazing because they are, but it's just not my bag. For me personally, there are so many amazing artists that that's what they do. They do tutorials and I would much rather recommend someone else who's going to be way better at doing uh, an art tutorial on something than myself. Most of the time, I'm not even sure what I'm going to do when I get started on a piece. And honestly, you could ask me a bunch of questions of how to do this or how to do that. And I don't really have a response for you because every single piece that I create just goes with the flow. It does its own thing. And for me to try to quantify that and turn that into a tutorial, it just... It just wouldn't work for me. And so, like, it's not been something that I've ever really been interested in doing. If you're on here and you listen to the podcast, you know that you'll see uh, me working on some art. And the reason I started doing that was because I was going to do tutorials and then figured out that I just didn't, I didn't know what I was doing. And so, instead of letting that footage go to waste, I figured, like, if anybody wanted to watch me paint, because it's not that I have secrets or anything like that, because if I have secrets, I wouldn't even know what they are. They'd be secrets to me. Art tutorials are very popular on YouTube, and you could call me stupid for not uh, doing more artsy art tutorial type stuff. Um, it's just, it's, it's just not something that I want to do. A very, very fast way 
for me to be able to grow my channel and make money on YouTube, like actually start making real money with the ads because the more tutorials that you do and the more that you're describing what it is that you do and stuff like that, you know, a lot of people come to YouTube to find art tutorials or tutorials on anything else. And if you guys have been watching us for a while, you know that for me, it doesn't have anything to do with like uh, following the trends or doing something simply because it is popular. For me, it's about being authentic and just putting myself out there. So in our videos, what you get is us talking about our choices that we've made in our career and our opinion on stuff. And if you're able to find that helpful, then awesome. Um, but as far as like doing tutorials, it does. It pulls on my heartstrings because I love you guys. So a lot of times I almost feel stupid because it would be such a smart move for me to do art tutorials because then I would uh, grow my channel very, very quickly. Uh, or much, much quicker than it's, we've been, we've had this channel for like, uh, almost 10 years and, you know, you would think we would have more subscribers and we don't. Why? Because this isn't our channel and I'm just talking about what my experiences are and what my, my opinions are. I'm going to create what I want to create for me because this is what I want to share with you guys. Uh, if, if I'm working on something just to make the crowd happy or just to follow uh, the the way that other people have done it before, then I'm not being genuine, and that's not that's not what I'm about. That's not what my art is about. That's not what this channel is about. This channel is about being you and being who you are. So I, I hate disappointing people, but at the same time, I got to be true to myself. And so, no, you guys, no uh, art tutorials will be happening on this channel. And I really, really wish that that was my bag, but it's just not my bag. Do what it is that you really want to do, the things that you feel passionate about, the things that you want to do. Don't simply jump on something because it's popular or even if there is a demand for it. I, I'm not anybody's mentor. I am just an artist who is out here doing this art thing and trying to figure it out as we go and sharing whatever it is that I can with you in whichever way I possibly can. Just not, not our tutorials. So I'm sorry, sorry, not sorry, sorry, not sorry. And I'm curious, you guys, I know that you guys watch all kinds of channels and stuff like that. If you know of any really, really good YouTubers out there that are doing art tutorials, go ahead and list them in the comment section below. That way, everybody that's looking for a good uh, art tutorial type thing, um, you guys help each other out with that. Again, I'm sorry. I just don't want to do them. I don't want to do art tutorials. Um, but I, I adore you. I adore you. I absolutely adore you. And thank you guys for watching. And if you uh, like this, this isn't really... <laughs> uh, yeah, you can subscribe if you want to see talking heads and not tutorials. So, yeah. Adios.